Well, when you have teammates like Gibson and Brock and Boyer and Musial, that's great. And in the booth, Michaels and Kiner and Jack Buck, one of the true all-time greats, and Sean McDonough, an excellent broadcaster, and Joe Buck, who has such stature through the years with Fox. You've had good teammates in the clubhouse, in the dugout, and upstairs. Um, well, I'll say. Can you imagine someone just tuning in and saying Joe Buck hand me a bouquet of flowers <laughs> and saying, don't you think you should explain that? Well, that was the last game of my career after game six in Boston. Spending 18 years with Joe Buck, two years with his dad. And, and as you said uh, in the opening, uh, game six of the 2011 World Series was the same as game six of the 1991 World Series. Jack Buck said, we'll see you tomorrow night. And Joe Buck said, we'll see you tomorrow night, 20 years later. If you heard Jack Buck, as I was lucky enough to, got here out of college in the mid-1970s, so for so long on the radio on KMOX, you knew how great he was day to day, the dry wit, the connection to the community. Mm -hmm. But talk about just great calls. Ozzie Smith, go crazy, folks. Kirk Gibson, I don't believe what I just saw. We'll see you tomorrow night with Kirby Puckett. He had a sense of drama that separates the great broadcasters from the merely good broadcasters. Well, that is really well put, Bob. It'll live forever. I mean, go crazy, folks. Go crazy is 1985, appropriately, right there. Still raises goosebumps. Oh, and you I'm know, Ozzy knows the whole call by heart. Oh, he does? Every yeah. comma of it. <laughs> He'll render it if you ask.